Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeze and I'm a YouTuber based in Port Harcourt, Nigeria. So you guys, today we're going to be discussing about Miriam Sander. That is the woman who has been trending recently because of her um, sentencing, okay? So if you guys don't know what the story is about, it's about this lady who stabbed her husband, I think, 14 times because he cheated on her or something. I don't know what the story was. I actually actively avoided that story because it's so tragic to me. At the end of the day, the children are just the losers in the whole situation. You know, they've lost their father, they've lost their mother. So the children are the losers in the whole situation, okay? I really don't know much about the details of that story, but it just got me thinking. And I realized that a lot of women are actually one step away from becoming another Miriam. And that is just the truth. And I'm going to be discussing why I, I have this position or why I feel this is so, okay? A lot of women are one step away from becoming Miriam. The only difference is that they do not have the liver to go that extra step. A lot of women are already doing things that are pushing them in that direction. It's just that when they get to that step where they should now, you know, finalize it, there's there some common sense might just jump in or fear, okay? And to, for me, the biggest reason why a lot of women are in such situations is because they do not have any identity outside their husband and children, okay? That is just the fact of life. So many of us might not want to accept it, but that is true, okay? A lot of women don't have identity and it's not about housewives okay so if you are here thinking yes tell them yeah i have a job no don't worry the people i'm about to break now we are all standing on it a lot of women are standing on it okay so let us just hold my hands everybody hold you hold the hand of the woman beside you and let us all jump down okay a lot of women do not have any meaningful identity aside their husband their children or their jobs okay yes yeah, so jobs included just because you have a job does not mean that you are of value to this world you're not of value you're not adding any value to this world just because you're making money making money is something that you you should do because you are a human being it's not it's not something that that is like someone said uh, some women when they start making small money maybe when they buy themselves airtime they will say i like the man that i am becoming okay yeah so it's a joke but there is some truth to it the fact that you're making money is just it's nothing it's not a it's not going to be carrying shoulder for it is it's a basic uh, requirement for you to be a human being for you to be an adult an adult an adult human being is a basic requirement for you to have a job and make money so that is not what i am referring to here i'm talking about adding value doing things that are meaningful i'm talking about having an identity that is valuable to the rest of the world a lot of us do not have it you are just aside being your husband's wife your mother's children your boss's employee there is nothing of value that you are adding to the world and that is why you see yourself in situations of frustration immense frustration because that job that you have made your your identity that husband that you have made your identity that those children that you have made your sole identity i'm not saying that these things are not part of your identity okay so don't get me wrong all those things still define who you are but they're not the only things that define who you are so because aside those things you have no value so when those things are not going the way you should go your life is over you are frustrated you are angry you are bitter wickedness has now entered your heart you are now you know defeated because you don't have any value you cannot picture yourself without your husband or your children or your job and these people i just mentioned now they actually know that without them you are nothing a lot of men know that if i leave this woman today she's finished a lot of men know that because you know, there's nothing else you are offering this world nothing else that that makes you wake up in the morning except them your children know that without them you are finished so <laughs> they misbehave anyhow your idea has broken your boss knows that without this job you cannot survive you are finished you're, you're put your whole life into your job you put your whole your whole being into this job that's why you know the unfortunate things keep happening to you and you're powerless to solve you're powerless to stop it because you have made those things your alpha and omega and the beginning and the end of your life so what do i mean by this um there's this guy i listen to he's a professor of psychology in canada and he's quite popular now because of some of his views and some of his videos on youtube that went viral i listen to him a lot his name is jordan b peterson okay he also wrote a book 12 rules for life an antidote to chaos and i've read the book i think i in fact i need to read it again this year it's something i'll be reading at least once every year or once every quarter okay because the book is very very enlightening so yeah he has this quote where he says it is your moral obligation to pursue that which you find meaningful okay it is your moral obligation as a human being what is supposed to give you value what's supposed to give you fulfillment in this life it are things that are meaningful meaningful goals meaningful pursuits okay so devote your life to meaningful things like finding answers to the cry of many find solutions to the problems of this world help the needy help those who are in need try to find 
you know, meaningful causes to put your life into, to dedicate your life into, to sacrifice your life for. Not husband, not children, not job, not... Sometimes I go on the internet and I see some conversations and I'm like... Like, what the, what the hell? What the hell, okay? You see people talking about things like, oh, if a man cheats, what do you do? The reason why men cheat, every time men, is men, 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 many men, men, men. <laughs> like, was this joke that, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, every time it's men, 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 many men, 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 when men cheat, why men do this, why men do that. At the end of the day, you don't have control over men. Control your life. They want to control men, they want to have the privilege of women, but they don't want to have any of your responsibilities. No responsibilities for your action, no responsibilities for your life. Like, you don't want to accept that something Things that are happening to you are because of your own decision no and that is why you see women who stay in situations where they are supposed to walk away but because they are, they are trying to control the situation why are you trying to control another human being why are you trying to control men you go online and start saying can you matter this how to keep a man how to control a man how to remote how to get a man to give you money how to get man 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 man, man. that's all many women are concerned about you're not concerned about what the causes that can change your life and change the lives of your children and your generations to come and so many human beings in this life you're not thinking about that you're thinking about just one human being how can one human being control your life to the extent that you carry a knife and stab him and then sentence to death and you die finish your children now are left are left motherless fatherless your children are now orphans in very very avoidable situations you end your life just like that this video should serve as a public service announcement to women try and have an identity outside of your marriage or outside of your job look for things that are worthy to do okay all human beings there is a hole in all of us that is seeking meaning that is seeking to do meaningful things that, that is why when you do something meaningful when you achieve something great when you do something for others you feel happy Okay, it is not a fluke, it is not a mistake. God knows what he was doing. That is why when you do something that is worthy, you sleep better at night. So look for worthy causes. I'm saying this thing, look for worthy causes. If you find anything that is worthy, if you find anything that is meaningful, pursue those things. Stop, stop looking at husband and wife and children and uh, mother-in-law this, sister-in-law that. How to do a cheating man. Why a man cheat? Yeah, my girlfriends stabbing you in the back. This one, that one. Women have their own problems. Those are, those are trivial issues. Speaking about friends, see, you have to be careful the kind of friends that you keep. A lot of women don't know this, but you are being influenced by your circle. Show me your friends and I'll tell you who you are. Yes, it, it, it might sound like a cliche, but it's actually true. Okay, you might think that you are the different one in your group of friends. Trust me, it's a matter of time before you catch up to their level of evilness. <laughs> Okay, it's only a matter of time before you change because it is easier for bad to corrupt good than for good to change bad That is just the truth. It is easier for you to pull down It's easier for you to be pulled down into a pit than for you to drag somebody out of a pit It is always easier to go negative. That is just the truth So because what kind of friends you have when you have issues in your marriage They're telling you about one Baba to visit one prophet one church one this that's all, you, all you're surrounding yourself with. You go on the internet, you are going to forums, you are going to groups on Facebook where all you talk about is woman this, man that, woman this, one man that. Why won't that be your preoccupation? Okay? Why won't you, why won't that consume you? When that is all you are listening to, what's all you are, are feeding yourself with, you are feeding your spirit with. So, be careful the kind of circle you, you keep your, your, the circle you keep around you. Be careful the kind of things you listen to, the kind of places you go, the kind of friends you, you talk to, the kind of people you confide in, the kind of advice you take. Be careful. And for me, advice you take sometimes is still depends on the kind of things you fed your spirit with, okay? For instance, when someone comes and meets me and tells me, eh, follow me, let's go to one papa so that your husband will be giving you more money. I'll tell the person, are you mad? Are you stupid? Like, is something wrong with you? It cannot even, it can't even fly. But some other women, because you have, you have saturated your spirit with such, you know, thoughts, the moment someone comes and tells you, let's go to this prophet, ah, you will fly, you will jump up. How many men are going to prophet to keep you? How many men are going to look for ways to make sex more enjoyable for you so that you'll be, you'll be more satisfied? Why is it that when women cheat on men, men cannot, they can't stand it? Because as far as I'm concerned, it, is, it has to do with your self-worth. So men cannot even picture themselves being with a woman who has cheated with them. But women, we, we endure and endure and endure. That's why you see a lot of women who say things like, Oh my God, he used me. Like when the relationship is over or even when they're in a relationship. He used me. He's always using me. My sister, how is he using? He supplied his own. You supplied your own. You people did the thing together. You had fun. You enjoyed yourself. How did he use you? Okay, and if you feel used in your relationship, if during sex you feel used, then maybe stop having sex with people that, that you feel are using you. Maybe stop it. Okay, you say he's using you, but he gave you money. 
If he gave you money, first of all, if you can't person that the only reason why you have sex with somebody is because the person gave you money, you are no different from a prostitute. Yeah, yeah, you're no different. That's just the truth, okay? That's one side of it. So the other part of it now is that if both of you supplied what you needed to supply and at the end of the day you feel used, then you need to check yourself. It means that you are either not doing that thing because you want to do it or you're just being plain stupid okay so at the end of the day why do women keep feeling oh he used me he used me i didn't know how many times i cooked for him i did he did he carry gun and put on your head i should cook and wash for him did he put gun on your head why are you trying to to buy his love why are you trying to buy his affection why are you trying to buy his attention so he did not use you you used yourself let us try and take responsibilities for our actions and that is why i keep fighting this victim mentality that many women have like the whole world there's this patriarchy that is coming here now to destroy your life that is holding you back nothing is holding you back you are the one holding yourself back if you know that you're in a situation like that is uncomfortable for you walk away walk away you will save yourself a whole lot of stress by walking away the other day i was watching i was watching a uh, look quest solutions and she was addressing the question about you know one boyfriend that was using one woman in the hand and i was just like 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 for real for real he's collecting your money he's maltreating you he's talking down on you he's not doing anything nice for you and you are still there why are you still there you're not like oh you don't want to waste three years of your life three years of your life as, a, as opposed to what as opposed to the rest of your life in misery you prefer not to waste three years of your life so that you will spend the rest of your life in misery so anyway i've ranted enough we need to ask ourselves important questions in this life as women especially as young women at the end of the day why was i placed on earth was i placed on earth because of husband because of man you ha you are you are they are living your life in you are you are living your life stuck you are stuck you are miserable you are sad just because of another human being a human being like you that god created like you that was born of a woman just like you you are you are sacrificing your happiness your joy your peace for another man why does it does it is it worth it is it worth it let me work it <laughs> <laughs> I wish all of us well, I wish all of us love and light and happiness but at the same time I'm still going to be coming here to shatter table so that we can find that love and light and happiness okay we can find it because your destiny is in your hands it is in your hands forget that victim mentality forget that oh life is so hard life is so this the same life that is so hard for you a lot of women have lived that life have overcome are happy now are with their grandchildren with their with their husbands with they are living such a happy life in that same life when you feel like everything is against you because you're a woman in that same country that same situation in that same city where you're living like you know everything is against you because you're a woman they have women who are thriving who are doing well who are doing exploits so at the end of the day you need to ask yourself what is missing what, what am i missing something what is missing in my own life anyway so yeah that's it all you guys <laughs> oh my gosh i feel like i was just talking like one angry woman like yeah i'm not really angry about it. i just feel like we need to like i, I just want to shake everybody like let's what are we doing what are we doing okay so yeah let's continue these comments in the comment section and also i'd like to ask you guys what do you guys think of having a um, YouTube live video. I want to do a live. I don't know whether I'll do it on Saturday or Sunday I don't know when so comment down below if you'd like us to have a live chat We can talk about any topic so comment down below if you'd like us to have a live chat When you want us to have this live chat and what topics you would like us to discuss during the live chat because I don't have any topic to come on. I don't just come there and be smiling at you guys <laughs> Okay, what would you like us to discuss when is the best time you Nigerian time was the best Nigerian time, okay, that you feel you'll be able to participate in the live video and what you think we should discuss, okay? Tell your friends, share this video, send it to your friends, send it to your girlfriends. You guys should discuss it in your groups, discuss it in your offices, discuss it in your in your churches, in your church meeting, wherever you are as women. Let us discuss this topic. How do we find things of value to pursue aside a husband and children and jobs how do we find no noble causes to pursue if you have anyone any noble cause that you feel we should participate in or we should you know be active in leave it in the comment section let us see okay let us help each other out thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel subscribe help 
I don't want to say again though, no. I don't want to say again to you that I'll make you subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel <laughs> and yeah, turn on the notification bell so I'm notified anytime I post a new video, okay? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!